Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you a few tools with which you can work with Google Earth data. The first tool is to import Google Earth KML files into your drawing. Now, you can be working on BricsCAD or AutoCAD because GeoTools works with both these CAD platforms. So, let me go to Google Earth and you can see that I have marked a property boundary in Brazil that I need to capture and bring it to BricsCAD. So, first thing I do is I right click here, save place as and I'm going to save this as LL underscore BR. Now this is called LL underscore BR because these coordinates are in lat long. So you can verify that if you go here, you can see that the coordinates are in latitudes and longitudes for the entire boundary. So we go back to geo tools, geographic tools. We have something called KML to DWG. So we just now created LL underscore BR dot KML and I'm going to import that into BricsCAD. So the file name has already been chosen LL underscore BR. There's a text height value that you need to specify. This is for the label text height. Since it is in lat long, the text height value also is given as a very small unit here. I'm going to click OK. So you can see that it has imported the polygon as well as its text label or the polygon label. So now I have the coordinates in lat long. So for example, if you do ID, you can see that the coordinates are in latitudes and longitude. My next step is to be able to convert this into UTM coordinates. And we all know that the UTM coordinates in Google Earth is always used as a reference for all GPS and other purposes. So what better way than to get the UTM coordinates from Google Earth itself? To get the UTM coordinates from Google Earth, we have a couple of tools under geographic tools. So we will use this tool to import a point from Google Earth and bring it to your BricsCAD or AutoCAD. And then we will use this rubber sheeting options to use those two control points to do the conversion from lat long to UTM. So first let us create those two control points. So I'm going to use Google Earth point import. So I click on this. This is a semi-automatic procedure involving BricsCAD and Google Earth. So you need to follow the instructions precisely. Step one, some useful commands in Google Earth. N is to reset the view so that north is up. U is to reset the tilt so that top is down. This is very important because unless you have the view and tilt correctly set, you may not get the correct coordinates. So always make it a practice that before you capture the coordinates, you must type N and U on the Google Earth window. Start Google Earth and zoom in to the point on the map which you want to capture. When you are done, press enter to continue. So I go to Google Earth, I pan across. Now my job requires me to do a rubber sheeting and convert this into UTM. So I'm going to work with these two corner points as my control point. It's always better and the best practice to use two points which are diagonally as apart as possible and which completely covers the area of interest. So I'm going to zoom in here. You can see as I zoom in the view changes to a different perspective kind of view. So I'm going to type U and N. So my view is correct now. Now I need to capture this point. So let's come back to CAD. So what is GeoTools now asking me? When you're done, press enter to continue. So I'll press enter. Step two. Next, we need to capture the coordinates of the point in lat long units. Ensure that the coordinates are set to lat long or decimal degrees or degree minute seconds. This is done by going to tools options and select the 3D view tab in this section. Bring the cursor exactly to the point you want to capture as precisely as possible. When done, press Ctrl Shift C to capture the coordinates into clipboard. So we are going to follow this procedure exactly now. So go back to Google Earth. I go to Tools, go to Options and I make sure that my units are in decimal degrees. Click Apply, click OK. Then I bring my cursor here. To this corner as precisely as I can and then I press Control shift C so when I press Control shift C the coordinates are captured into clipboard then I go back here press enter to continue so I'm going to press enter the coordinate system is lat long the lat long coordinates of the picked point is this latitude and longitude so it has been captured now in latitude and longitude and in step 3 we are now going to capture it in UTM coordinate so we need to capture the coordinate of the same point in UTM 
unit ensure that the coordinates are set to universal transverse mercator this is done by going to tools options and select the 3d view tab ensure that the cursor is on the same point at exactly the same location as last capture when done press ctrl shift c to capture the coordinates into clipboard so i go back again into google earth mind you i have not changed my view i have not panned it or not zoomed it or tilted it it is exactly at the same location as before all i'm going to do now is go to tools option and change this to universal transverse mercator click apply and click ok now once again i bring the cursor to the same location and press ctrl shift c now since the units are in utm it has captured the utm coordinates into clipboard now i go back to my cad and press enter to continue so you can see now the coordinate system is utm and the utm coordinates of the pick point is the zone is 23 and these are the easting this is the northing so this is how we capture the easting and northing of any point from Google Earth as well as the lat and long of the same point. Now we have all the information we need. The lat and long coordinates are here and the UTM coordinates and the UTM zone number of the same point is here. Next it's asking you insert into which coordinates UTM or lat long or both. So first I'm going to insert it into lat long because that is where my KML file is. Enter point number one is fine you can give any number you want so it has created a block called gt underscore gps point and it has inserted that point here so you can see that this point is now at the lower left representative corner of my area of interest now if you double click on this block you can see that this block has three attributes so one attribute is the utm coordinate another is the lat long coordinate and the third is the point number so this is what is important. I need the lat long and UTM of the same point to be captured from Google Earth and brought into CAD. This is going to help me in the rubber sheeting. But rubber sheeting cannot be done just with one point. So I need to repeat exactly the same procedure for this point as well. So again, it's easy. So I'm just going to do it now quickly because you know the procedure now. So I'm going to zoom out, pan, zoom in here type n and u i go back again to geo tools geographic tools google earth import point press enter to continue step two i'm now going to capture the lat long of that point so i go back here tools options decimal degrees now i'm in lat long apply okay now i come here to this point and press ctrl shift c then go back to BricsCAD, press enter to continue. So I have captured the lat long of the upper right corner as well. Now I'm going to go back to Google Earth again, go to tools, options, change it to UTM, apply, okay. Once again to make sure N and U, keep the cursor exactly here, control shift C. Now I've captured it in UTM, go back here, press enter to continue so you can see i got the utm also here and the lat long here and lastly insert into which coordinates utm ll or both so once again in ll point number is two so it has been inserted so we go back to the cad and if you see here now the same block has been inserted for the upper right corner as well now once i have these two blocks which contain both utm and lat long coordinates i can do a rubber sheeting for anything in between and convert them into utm so how do i do that i go to geo tools geographic tools rubber sheeting with drawing control points so select first gps control point block so this is my first control point I selected it and it's now asking for select second GPS control point. So I select this one and now it's asking me select entities. So what are the entities I want to select? So you can select everything that you want to convert. So at this point of time, it accepts only lines and polylines. It does not accept text. So the text will be ignored. So that's why you're seeing that entities in set is 
just shown as one okay so it has done the conversion to utm but obviously it has disappeared from here because it is in another place in utm coordinates so i will do a zoom extent and i'm going to zoom in here from the other side of the screen and now if you do an id here you can see that the coordinates are in utm in other words the coordinates have now been transformed from lat long to utm and your polyline also is transformed from lat long to utm so you are getting everything now in utm values so now if you measure something inside your property area the distance that you get is the actual distance in meters so this is how you can use geo tools to do coordinate conversion from lat long to utm also to import a kml file created by google earth into your drawing now in the last step i will show you how you can export this as a kml file in utm as well as in lat long so we go back again here to geographic tools which click on this option called dwg to kml so the option now i'm going to output a utm kml file so utm underscore br dot kml now if you have object data x data attributes and all you can export them as well but in this case i'm just going to leave all of it as blank or i'll just say none so i'm going to select this here's a small warning it gives that the coordinates are outside the limits of geographic data now the reason for this is because most of the kml files are expected to be in lat long units because that is what google earth requires but it is not a must you can still have kml files in utm units for other software so that is why this is just a warning so if you want you can stop and fix the problem or if you know that this is correct just say allow so you can see already it has created the kml file so if you go here so this is the kml file with utm coordinates okay so this is how you use geo tools to do conversion of lat long to utm and also how you can import kml file to drawing thank you for watching this video and i hope you like this if you have any questions please feel free to get back to me on my email or on any of the other contact channels mentioned at the end of this video